The Analytics tab contains many powerful tools to help you analyze your race, but in order for it to work, the course has to be set up. If you need help, head on over to the Course tab and follow the directions. Once you have a course, you need to select at least one boat. Now you'll see the course appear in the timeline, and you can view the performance of that boat by leg or overall. Of course, the most interesting thing is to compare it to another boat, and you can see there is a lot of information available. At the bottom of the page, there are five controls. The first control lets you customize the color-coded GPS track behind each boat. Let's turn on a 30-minute GPS track. Now, with just a glance, we can see exactly where we sailed and the points at which we were at the highest speeds. The next control is your groove analysis. This is a proprietary race cues analytic that shows when the boat was sailing in the groove and when you have areas of course instability. For more information, click the blue question mark to watch a video explaining groove analysis. You can toggle the groove analysis on and off here. And at the most basic level, where you see a solid line, the boat was in the groove, and a gap indicates an area of instability. This is especially interesting to look at following a tack. When the groove lines are showing, tacks and drives will be clickable, and there are many analytics available. The next option is the boat separation. In order to use boat separation, you need to have two boats selected here at the top. Toggling on the boat separation displays two lines coming out from each vessel and then a white line in between which will show the distance between them. Next we have the most powerful analytic on this tab, which is the dashboard. The dashboard creates a customizable overlay. You will always see speed over ground and VMG, but unless your phone is mounted to the boat in some way, it will not be able to detect the heel and drift. There are instructions for mounting your phone in the app. We'll turn the overlay on with just speed over ground and VMG. Again, if you click this blue question mark, you can watch detailed videos explaining this incredibly powerful overlay. Just to give you a quick overview, this red triangle indicates the direction to the mark. This is a vector showing your speed over ground and course. With just speed over ground and VMG selected, you can see some colored dots on the overlay. A colored dot is created every second and is color coded for speed using the same key as we use for the GPS track. The key will change depending on which boat avatar you have selected on your journal. For example, while nine knots might be red for a laser, a Moth Mach 2 doesn't reach the red zone until they are going over 24 knots. For more information and a key, click the blue question mark. And finally, we have the wind shadow feature. The green circle indicates the lee bow zone and the red oval is your wind shadow. Just like in real life, these zones will grow and shrink depending on your speed. These analytics are very powerful, and if you learn how to use them properly, it will change the way you race.